so hello this is the second film of uh, the Deadhead series um, first one is out with two different skulls and there's a third film coming out so I have in this uh, series I have uh, the Indian chief skull. I'm using a transparent white right now and I have a second skull which is like like the pirate bandana skull so some freehand shapes of flames for the background now we're switching to an opaque black. And uh, the first black stencil you can always hear the full opacity, pure black. And uh, for the second this second uh, stencil I'm using the same black but uh, less a pack of these so you get the gray so actually this is if you have like two separate airbrushes at home it's really easy to do this image because it's just black and white although you can always add colors to this picture so with the pirate skull it's the same first stencils after the white is pure black and then a gray tone for the second stencil So then you have like the a really highly detailed black and white picture. For this one, uh, we're adding the little bit of color. So I'm doing the bandana in red. I'm cover up the metal. So this is transparent red, as you can see, everything that's black stays black. So that's a huge advantage of transparent colors. I'm adding transparent yellow for the coin, or the metal. And uh, we can go now to the park white. And, uh, you can experiment a little bit for not using a total white on the whole stencil so if you have like the light from one side you can do the work in the stencil on the side of the light a little bit more so that you get a little bit of variation in there But I'm just here I'm just painting 100% white. So you can always search for 
some structures in the stencils, for example here are the teeth, that you do like 100% uh, white, so it just really pops out of the picture. And there's also the advantage of the stencil always you can reuse the stencil so you can like paint at color to it and then you highlight some, some parts of the stencils again. Same with the uh, Indian chief skull. I've done a little bit of light brown over the whole skull face, and now I'm like using some part of the stencil, like the teeth or the side of the skull, to do the highlights. Now I'm adding a little bit of red for the wall paint and. So the main picture is, is finished and you can use the cover-up stencils to do the background. On the cover-up stencils I'm using like a spray glue. So you put a little bit of spray glue on the back side and then it sticks to the surface and you don't need to pin it down. Also, you can use this like if you have a metal background which is magnetic, you can also use like little magnets to hold it down. So, again, a little bit of highlights around the skulls. So, actually, the background doesn't matter. Just yeah, that's the color that the main picture pops out. Okay, uh, watch part one and part three, and uh, hope you like it. Bye.